Hi there, my name is Bhushan. Welcome back to the video series on JavaFX. In our previous lecture, we have discussed how to use at fxml annotation and also we have discussed how to communicate with the fxml file using Java class. Also, we have discussed one of the database operation that is insert operation. So in this video, we are going to learn another database operation that is update operation. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Before moving on to the update operation, we have to make one more thing. So that is in our previous lecture, we did an insert operation. As soon as the user clicks on the add employee button, the record will stored in a database and we have to display a message to the user so that user can easily understand the record has been submitted or the record has been saved successfully. So for that, I will take a help of this result console. This is a text area. So as soon as the user clicks on add employee button, we have to store the values in a database and we have to display a useful message to the user in this result console text area. So for that, I will go to my controller class. So go to controller class and let's quickly create a property for that private text area again, which is from a Java FX scene control package and give a meaningful name result console and I will annotate this with the at fxml because I want to because this property I want to available in a scene builder let's save this and go to our scene builder and click on this text area and you will notice the little arrow button but it is not showing this is because just close this and save this and open the scene builder once again and go to the text area click on this and then you will find that so just click on this and you will find the property name that we have just created so select this property and save this and go to our controller after the after this uh, statement we will take a reference of that result console on this we will call a set text method so for this we will set a text something like success values has been added to database save this and uh, let's quickly clean the project and let's run the project so let's enter some dummy records Bharat Sirgur Bharat at gmail.com and I click on add employee and the message has been showing in the console success values has been added to database so let's go to our database and let's check whether the values are added to database or not as you can see the values are stored in a database so this is the one thing and the next thing we have to discuss the update operation so let me close let me minimize this thing and I will close this close this for the sake of this video we are going to update an email ID of the employee so for that I will take a help of these two text boxes and I will uh, take a help of this update button also the user will enter an employee ID that he want to update and he will also enter an email ID of the employee that he want to change so when the user clicks on update button we will trigger an event and inside that event we will write our update operation so for that let's quickly go ahead and create two properties for these two text boxes in our controller private text field and search employee ID private text it's not text area it's a text field search employee email because again I have to use these two text boxes for the search operation also for that I will give a name as search so you can give any name you want and I will annotate this with the fxml annotation fxml save this and uh, let's close mm. this scene builder and open the scene builder once again and click on this employee ID and you will notice that uh, little down arrow button click on this and you will see the two properties that we have just created so for that I will choose search employee ID and for the new email I will choose search employee email save this and now when the user clicks on this update button we have to trigger an event for that we have to create a one more method inside our controller so let's create a method 
which is a private method private void update employee and we will pass an action event for that an event and this will throws an exception called class not found exception and SQL exception and so inside this we will call the DO method of the update employee so let's create a update method inside our DO class we'll go to employee DO and uh, after this method let's create a one more static method public static void update employee for this method we will pass two parameters or we will accept the two parameters which is a uh, int id and string email and this will throw an exception called sql exception and class not found exception so inside this method we will write our sql query string sql is equal to update employee set email is equal to single quotes and double quotes plus plus email where id is equal to can within the single quotes and double quotes will will pass the id of the employee so and i will uh, close this with a semicolon and now i will pass this sql statement to our utility method so inside the try block and inside the catch this will throw some S sql exception inside the catch block system.out.println error occurred while updating the record and let's print the stack trace and let's throw that exception now inside the try block we will call our dbutil method dbutil dot db execute and uh, we are interested in db execute query method so for this we will pass an sql query so let's save this and go back to our employee controller and here inside the try catch block sql exception error has been occurred while updating the data and we will throw an exception and also we will print the stack trace so inside the try block we will call the dao method so for that since it is a static method we will use a class name employee dao dot update employee so for this method we will pass two parameters i will take a help of this search employee id property and and i will call the get text method and and also we'll take a help of the search employee email on this we will call a get text method and let's save this and we are getting an exception let me check that all right so this update employee will take uh, two parameters the first parameter is an integer and the second parameter is an string since we are uh, passing a string as a two parameters then it will take an uh, it will uh, showing an error so what i will do is i will take a help of uh, integer class integer and I will convert it to a parse string and inside the parse for this parse string I will pass the string so that will take care of converting a string to an integer so let's save this yeah I forgot to specify the artifactsml annotation so let's quickly specify that and uh, let's clean the project and yeah we have to link this method in our uh, scene builder for update button so I will go to scene builder so let's close this and once again I will open the scene builder and click on this update button and you will find the on action event and you will find a little arrow button click on this and you will find the two events so we have to select the update employee event or the method click on this and press ctrl s for save and minimize this and let's clean our project and let's run our project and test it we'll click on run so let's go to our uh, database and as you can see we have a two records i'm going to update the second record which is bharat the id of the bharat is 4 so the employee id i'll specify the employee id as 4 and the new email id bharat2017 at gmail.com 
So when I click on update button, as you can see, the JDBC driver has been registered and I will go to our database When I execute that query again. As you can see, the record has been updated. So our update operation is working fine. So the last one more thing we have to do is we have to display a message in our console to the user uh, saying that the record has been updated. So for that, I'll close this frame and I will go to our uh, controller and uh, I'll close this off first and inside the employee controller and uh, we have to after the update method using a result console I have to set a text and inside this I will uh, write a message saying that success update has the record has been updated the record has been updated so let's quickly save this and uh, I will run the project again so go to our uh, database and let's uh, say we have to update a record of Bhushan the ID of the Bhushan is 3 3 the new email ID is Bhushan 2017 at yahoo.com and when I click on update as you can see success the record has been updated so if I go to our uh, database previously it is bushan at gmail.com so when I execute the query again as you can see bushan27 at yahoo.com so the record has been updated so that's all about this video so we have completed the update operation and insert operation so in our next video we will see the delete operation so thank you so much for watching I will see you in next video